गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट सी द इंफॉर्मेशन क्लास नाइन्थ सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश एंड वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग राइटिंग कॉम्पोजिशन डिस्क्रिप्टिव पैराग्राफ एंड दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर वन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग लाइक प्रैक्टिसिंग दिस डिस्क्रिप्टिव पैराग्राफ लेट मी टेल यू द राइटिंग सेक्शन वी हैव विद अस दैट विल बी ऑफ योर टेन मार्क्स फाइव मार्क्स विल बी ऑफ स्टोरी राइटिंग एंड फाइव मार्क्स विल बी ऑफ इधर डायरी एंट्री और your uh, descriptive paragraph writing so there uh, students you will get this like uh, in the choice either you just attempt your diary entry or you attempt your descriptive paragraph in diary entry we have already done what sort of things will be there right so this will carry five marks either you write story writing uh, that will be five marks and this diary entry a descriptive paragraph this will be in your uh, choice so you just need to practice both in diary entry you know the format you know how to write it we have been practicing since we started and in eighth also you had in the practice of writing diary entry but here in the uh, descriptive paragraph this is going to be i think first uh, lecture uh, last also we discussed a bit not much but this will be the choice of diary entry either you write your diary entry or this descriptive paragraph right this will be so let's just have a discussion of this a descriptive paragraph is a writing task in which a person place or an event is described so see children its format is very simple straight away you need to write you just need to divide it in your own way like uh, introductory para and then you talk about the body of the paragraph and then you conclude it right that's a bit a different uh, prospect but here the descriptive paragraph talks about a person a place or an event but one thing i want to share with you people when you go to practice you just need to practice uh, descriptive paragraph on a person only descriptive paragraph on place and event that is deleted from the syllabus for the session 2020 2021 right so the paragraph on on a place or event has been deleted from the syllabus right there will be only paragraph on person right but i am teaching you i need to teach all the things related to this right so descriptive paragraph comes uh, which a uh, talk task in which a person place or an event is described so here we will discuss only about a person so there will be only description of a particular person right it is written to present the facts about a particular person place or an event that or an event to the reader so in this session we need to talk about only a person so when you get a message that you will get on a particular person that will be totally relating to your life that we need to see let's see the next one the students should use simple language while writing the descriptive paragraph and stick to the word limit of 100 200 in 20 words this is all about descriptive paragraph students like your language should be very simple not very difficult words so like sentence framing should be very simple not like describing in that way which is just disturbing right so this is what we need to be a bit careful about these all things in our life paragraph and one more thing is very important because uh, you are going to get only five marks for the diary entry as well as for paragraph writing so you just need to stick to the word limit and that will be 100 to 120 words you are not supposed to write less than 100 words and more than 120 words you need to be careful enough for these all things let's go to the next sometimes verbal or visual clues can also be given in the question to write the paragraph so you see when you get the question for writing your paragraph there you will get either verbal or visual clues 
on the basis of which you need to just write your paragraph right that means there will be totally description of a particular person i told you again i'm repeating that in this session you will get a descriptive paragraph on a person only not on a place or event that will be deleted that is deleted that will not be mentioned there actually right so you just need to be a bit careful that either you get the verbal clues or visual clues you need to be very sensitive enough to understand it first need to think a bit and then need to write on it right points to be kept in mind now when you are going to write on a passage analyze uh, this a descriptive passage you just need to be a bit careful a uh, few points which are to be kept in mind are these it should give complete detail about the person place or thing place event you can or thing you can just skip talk about person only so you just need to give the brief detail about a person for whom uh, you are going to write your descriptive paragraph though it will be in the choice of your diary entry you just need to manage it you need to understand both diary entry as well as this uh, passage like which one do you find that that is going to be very easy for you based on that you will go ahead once you decide like this one is quite easy and you can manage then you will go ahead that means like you just need to decide uh, suppose a diary entry you find that's quite easy then you'll go ahead and start writing your diary entry based on some fix and figures or if you find like your uh, paragraph writing is uh, better or like more easy than your uh, diary entry then i suppose you should go with the diary entry i would prefer this right so you just need to complete the details right one should uh, use simple language and short sentences in writing paragraphs see children when you are writing your uh, paragraph simple language you need to use so that the reader can understand what you want to convey what do you want to say and short sentences in writing in writing uh, when you get the short sentences jab aap short sentences aapko milenge there you just need to write short sentences in the writing which becomes a bit easier for understanding to the reader right these are the points which are to be kept in mind when you plan to write your descriptive paragraph the next one is the word limit of 100 to 120 words should be adhered to strictly that's also once again repeated point putting more emphasis like you need to be a bit careful when you write the word limits like it shouldn't go less than 100 words or like more than 120 words you just need to maintain this keep in mind that you are going to get only 5 marks for this if you have written more 150 words or 70 words this will quite tail your marks this will cut your marks or if you write less than that is understood like the one is unable to complete the task that's why the one is unable to uh, write the exact words or if the one writes more that's taken that it's over the one is having not uh, uh, um, sufficient words in which he or she can explain the points though he is taking or she is taking more words than required so that will just get your marks cut the visual and verbal clues given in the question can be used in con constructing the descriptive paragraph when you go to construct your descriptive paragraph you'll get the verbal and visual clues that's also we discussed it's putting more emphasis on this why this because these are very important points here which are helping us to understand the descriptive paragraph and to write it right so you just need to understand it first and then you need to proceed further it should not include the opinion of the writer or any speculations personal comments or recommendations about the person place or event being described in the paragraph now you see children what we find it should not include the opinion of writer or any speculation personal comments now to me jo hai jo the one who's writing the paragraph shouldn't uh, mention his or her personal opinion apne personal opinions ko put nahi karenge hum or like we don't uh, put any speculations or like doubt is there personal comments are there or recommendations basically <coughs> about the person 
a place or event being described in the paragraph like suppose in this we will get only the person so there you are not supposed going to put your own like things when you get the visual clue you will see that or like describe it or get the uh, like verbal clue there also based on that you just need to see you need to write the basic facts and figures there to just describe that in a proper way <clears throat> Format of descriptive uh, paragraph. Now you see, we are just uh, going to discuss the format of this descriptive paragraph. <clears throat> Introduction about uh, the topic in simple and lucid manner. Now you see, this you are not going to explain this uh, like paragraph wise. You simply make a simple paragraph. In that, you need to mention everything. You are not supposed to mention title there. Title is not required for writing your paragraph. You just need to straightway start writing about your introduction. Introduction means like suppose you get uh, uh, to write about your uh, friend or one of your best friends you need to write. So firstly you will write about his name, his or her name. Then uh, you talk about uh, his uh, residence, his class, right? But this one should be very easy, simple language so that the reader can understand it and can allot to the word uh, marks in a proper way. Right. Then you go to the body description about the topic with the, some facts related to. That means if you are describing your friend, now you need to mention there the description. You need to describe the things basically like likes and dislikes or like hobbies or like uh, status of studying or like family members. So many things you will explain there. But in some certain word limits. You just need to be sure that you are going to maintain the word limit. Within that, you need to just sum up your paragraph writing so that you can justify that you are quite able to understand this, right, everyone? So thus, uh, we need to understand. Uh, now, if you're describing, this is quite easy. Even uh, if you just take about uh, this uh, diary entry, sometime it is found that the writing paragraph is more easy or like we can say easier than your diary entry that you will get in the option. You have a choice to just uh, go ahead, though you need to decide what you are going to do, whether you are going to write a diary entry or a paragraph, descriptive paragraph. That will be up to you people. Which one do you choose when you get the question paper? So we were discuss, disc, uh, discussing about the body. Introduction we discussed how and the body. There will be the brief description of uh, uh, the topic you get on which you are writing something about any particular person. So you just need to mention some facts and figures there which are totally related, not like misinterpreting the things or manipulating the ideas or things. That should seem to be a bit uh, realistic, which can be just helpful or uh, understandable for the reader if the one is reading. Right, everyone? So let's go next. Conclusion. Now, how do you conclude? It should be presented with appreciation words about the topic. Suppose you are going to just conclude your uh, paragraph. This last two, three or four, five lines you will use while just uh, appreciating about the body or the particular person you are talking, right? Uh, good habits, good talking attitude or sort of things you will mention there by just uh, giving appreciation to one, right? So children, that's enough for this today's lecture. If anyone of you wants to ask any question that you are going to have your exams from uh, uh, 16th onwards, 16th of this month, and today it's 11th, right? You'll get the preparatory holiday also next. So any one of you feel that you want to ask anything related to any uh, syllabus, related to anything we uh, did, so you can just raise your hand. I would love to help you people if, if you find something is disturbing you or something can bother you though we'll have next also you can call also but this is going to be very important that we understand the things this descriptive paragraph is very easy and it is uh, going to come in our exam in the choice so we do have choice diary entry we have been practicing for so many 
days like we did in the eighth also. So that will be the better option. But this is person. This varies person to person. If someone finds like the paragraph writing is easier than diary entry, the one should proceed with that. I would say the one should be able to analyze and assess which one will be better for him or her so that they can go ahead. So uh, if any one of you wants to ask any question, I'm here to help you out. Raise your hand. 